I am in the same clothes as yesterday. For now, but that's just because I just woke up. But look at the baby. Oh, why are you speeding up? I'll be back. I am currently on my way to a doctor's appointment. I don't know why I have one right now because they said I wouldn't have one until six weeks after I gave birth, but whatever. I'm just going. Hopefully, the. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that they'll say I'm fine to like, do some more working out because I feel so sluggish every single day. Can't really do anything. Not supposed to do anything. I really want to be able to take baths again, but I don't know when that's going to happen either. So, I don't know if you can hear me. Sorry. But, blah. I don't know. I don't even know what this doctor's appointment is for, but I'm hoping that I won't have another one for me after this. But I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Katie. Can you stretch? Oh no, you're gonna get mad at me. I'm sorry. I'll move you. Are you okay? Okay. So, we just got back from my doctor's appointment not too long ago. And it was literally the dumbest doctor's appointment I've ever had in my life. And she's, she's either farting on me or pooping on me. I don't really know. One of the two. But that's okay. She's cute. But nurse, well, okay, so the nurse brought me in to the room. And she had me get undressed because she said that the doctor was going to do like an, a, little, a little bit of an exam. Mostly just like feeling around on my stomach. And so she made me take everything off, and then the doctor came in, and she's like, oh, I don't know why the nurse had you take everything off. I'm not doing anything except for feeling around on a couple of things, and you didn't need to take everything off. And then she was talking about a few other things, and I don't know what happened, but she definitely left without doing anything at all. So I literally just sat and listened to her talk for a few minutes and say sorry about not being there to deliver my baby even though she she left okay so story time she left the hospital room when I was in the hospital um probably three or four minutes before I gave birth and so there was not a doctor in the room to deliver Annabelle there were two nurses who did absolutely wonderful honestly I was not surprising, but you expect a doctor to deliver your baby rather than a few nurses. And so, the doctor today, when I went in, she's like, oh my god, I feel so bad about that. She's like, I should have been there, but there was someone else that was having a few complications with her labor. And so I just went to go check on her quick, and by the time I got back, you had already given birth. Awesome. Great. But, yeah. So, she slightly forgetful I guess I mean given there was something else going on but there were also two doctors there one of them they thought was in surgery but she wasn't so I th believe she was actually available at the time but she thought that the other doctor was in the room delivering Annabelle and no one no doctor ended up being there but that's okay it all happened really fast so I understand okay I need to go change the diaper because she Probably just filled her diaper in a matter of like five seconds. Please tell me how often this happens. I'm sorry. We'll fix you. Do you like bad times? Do you love it? to give Annabelle a bath because she literally just pooped through her diaper, went all the way up her front and not the back. And she spit up earlier and a bunch of it got in her hair, but I really needed to 
go. So, you know, mom duty calls. I swear, she is the calmest baby ever in the bath. She loves it so much. Right? You love it? Is it warm? I gave her a bath yesterday too because she spit up on the changing table and then it all just goes into her hair because it basically just like slides to the middle. The baby's all done with their bath. She's so tiny. Okay. Ow. <coughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Annabelle got a new outfit and she's all clean and ready to eat. Ready for a nap? Ready for something. I don't know. Did you just spit up? Mom life. Ah. You're so calm right now. Not, not anymore. There we go. How old are you today? Like 26 days old.